Hi everyone, this is Arlene, and um, I did make my pumpkin pie uh, cake last night, and I couldn't find the uh, the SIM card, or whatever you call it, to put in the camera to tape, so I just found it. So now this morning, it's about 8.30 in the morning, I already have, I'm going to make um, a man's bar uh, with the Jacar with the Jacar uh, fragrance type, and I'm going to make it black, and I have, I bought this. And it looks like a tire tread. So I'm going to put that on top. And these are actually going to be from my husband's workers at his job. Because they work for uh, Casings Incorporating. Which is a tire recycling plant. So I thought it would look cute uh, with the tire tread. Alright. Now this recipe has in it. I already melted all my oils here. And it's got 8 ounces of almond oil. 16 ounces of coconut oil. The 76 degrees one. It's got um, 20 ounces of regular olive oil, and it's got 10 ounces of palm oil. Um, I didn't put any shea butter or anything like that in this one. It's, you know, for, for the men's. It's still going to allow the nice and be conditioning, but I didn't add too many crazy things in it. The lye um, is 7.7 .7 ounces of lye, and then the water was uh, 20.5 ounces of water. So I already have that here, and my lion water um, is about 115 degrees, and so are my oils. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mix my lye in with my oils. And you always want to wear gloves. And get it mixed up pretty good. Sorry if I'm in your way here trying to stay off camera because I'm still in my pajamas <laughs> and I don't like being taped anyhow so I hope I'm not getting myself in any of this okay so now that that's mixed pretty good I'm gonna take out the stick blender I always keep it in water so that you know if I'm if I'm separating batches and putting different fragrances in half of it I can always rinse it in the water and it'll be good good to go Alright, so now we're just going to start mixing this a little bit. It's my stupid TV here in the background. Every time I put the blender on it, it makes a noise. I don't know why. It's annoying. Now that my oils are all thoroughly mixed together, I'm just adding about a quarter of a cup of the um, ground up oatmeal, which is always nice for the skin. So I figure I'll put a little bit of that in their bar for the men. We'll get that mixed in good. Whenever you get the air bubbles, you just want to stir it, get some of those air bubbles out. Okay, now at this point, I can see a very, very light trace, very, very little bit. So what I'm going to do now is, I got my black coloring here already mixed with some um, glycerin. So I'm just going to add a little bit the black color I don't know if you can see this but it's turning black but that's not even enough so I'll put a little bit more in what are you talking at later? A monkey. I have a quarter, a little less than a quarter of a cup of the uh, castor oil that I'm going to super fat with, so I'm going to pour that in. And three tablespoons of the Dracaw fragrance. So one, two, I never used this one before, so I don't know if it's going to accelerate the trace or if it's going to get thick really fast, which I think it's going to. So I'm 
smells so good. I still want it a little bit blacker. First time I'm making this, so we'll see what it looks like, you know, tomorrow when I unmold it. But it doesn't have to be jet black. I mean, just so it looks like a tire. And as you can see, the trace is thick now. So I want to pour this. Rinse off my blender and my water. Now I'm going to pour this. Where's my spatula? Hold on. I'm over here. What are you doing, little baby? Ah, my monkey. Oh, mommy doesn't want you near this. So now we're going to pour. And it got very thick, very fast. I'm sure it's from the um from the fragrance. Now this is the tap it to get any air bubbles out. I actually probably put a little bit more. Mmm, it smells so good. Just like Dracaw cologne and that's one of my favorite colognes. So now, what I'm going to do is take this entire thing and put it upside down on top and press it into it so that it gets the design of the tire tread. What are you doing, Sparky? Mommy hears you. I hear the back door opening because of the cat they come in they just push it open and I hear them I hear the door opening up a little bit and I'm like what the heck is that but it's my cat my sparky was bad I see so in here I don't see any going into the corner so let me just tap that so every single little piece has the tread mark all right now I'm gonna cover it and put it to bed all right well tomorrow when um i'm gonna pour this in a uh, what do you call it in a little a little uh sample mold where i can cut and use for samples but this is going to be for my husband's all the guys at his job cut it up make him a nice bar of soap and i also make um the homemade baileys in a bottle for them for christmas with the nice little tag on it that says like elf nog <laughs> with a little picture of a drunken elf on the label but my sister-in-law d down in georgia gave me that recipe so i was making it for quite a few years it's delicious it actually tastes better than the baileys that you buy in the store so my cousin denise loves it everybody loves it so i'll be making the guys each a nice big bottle of the baileys homemade and they'll each get a tire soap <laughs> smelling like your car all right, thank you, and um, I guess when I unveil it, well, later on I'm going to be cutting my um, my pumpkin pie cake into slices that I made last night, so I will show you when I cut that. All right, thank you, and have a good day. Bye.